Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Ms. Thank you. You can sit down. All right, then the first thing we will do today is to go over the exercise you were given in the previous lesson based on plotting inequalities on a number line. Then we will go through some revision questions to prepare you for the test. OK. Question one, you were asked to plot the following points on a number line. OK, I am going to ask you to come and do that on the board. And I would like only one person to come and do number one, because I know that it's very easy to do. If not, what I would like you to do is, because it's um, very simple, you take the pointer and you point on this number line where these ones should be. OK, and make sure you take the mic, use the mic. Quickly, any volunteers to do number one? Any volunteers for number one? Nobody? Tamaku, come. All you need to do is, for instance, where it says x equals 3, then you say x equals 3. Instead of, uh, we'll just do that quickly, and then we'll go on to the next one. Start from B. Uh, B equals negative 5. It's supposed to be here. Z equals 0. P equals negative 2.5, somewhere around here. <coughs> Q equals positive one and a half, it's around here. Uh, last one, R equals negative two there, <coughs> somewhere around here. Thank you. Thank you, Tomaku. All right, next. Question two, plot the following inequalities on the number line. Before, before we go on to that question, I'd like to correct a mistake I made in the previous lesson. Have a look at example, the example that we looked at in the previous lesson. Example, the last one. It's in your exercise book. The last example where I drew on the number line. And this was minus 3 and 3. And then I drew something like this. Can I just have a look at your book? I think like this. Where I said the answer was x, equal, s is, x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than 1. No, that's not the one. OK. x is greater than 1. I think it was like this. Can you see it on your, on your exercise book? OK, and then I think the other one was this. It was number three part, number two part three, where I asked you to write down the inequality statement. This one here, was this shaded? The other one was shaded, OK. Instead of the word and, OK, note instead of the word and, I should have used the word or. I'll explain why. OK. If, if it is the word n, like say, for instance, x is greater than 1 and 
x is less than 4. Then x is greater than 1 and x is less than 4 is supposed to be between 1 and 4. x is greater than 1 and at the same time x is less than 4. So the numbers will be between 1 and 4. Okay, that's the difference. The difference is that if you're using this, then it will have to include that. But this one, it can't be and. It has to be or. X is either greater than 1 or less than, sorry, greater than or equal to 1 or less than negative 1. So change the word and in your exercise book to or and make sure you know the difference. So this one is supposed to be x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than or equal to 1. And this one, x is greater than 1 and x is less than 4. Is it clear? Okay, then we'll go on to question 2. For question two, I'd like you to use the same number lines. I'll be calling um, individuals to come and answer or put down A, B, C, D, and F. OK, I'll just draw up the number line to make it easy. OK, first of all, any volunteers for A? You have to volunteer too, you know. I don't have to force you all that time. So who wants to do A? 2A, Vui, 2B, Velma, 2C, Boromio, 2D, Geno, 2E, anyone for 2E, Ponrele, and F? Jake, OK, come. Just use uh, one number line and indicate yours with letter A. Oh, sorry, letter A, B, C, D, E, or F. If it's full, then you will draw another number line so that it's. You don't have to just indicate with the letter because it occupies too much space. Then you can.
minus 2 and 3. Short. Little bit more. Okay, good. If you want to, you can draw your own number line, it's all right. be greater than okay you, you'll just do it like that yeah i'll mention it and they'll change it Okay, letter A minus 1 is less than X, which is less than 3. B minus 3 is less than or equal to Y, which is less than or equal to 4. Uh, C minus 2 is less than um, Z, which is less than or equal to 3. D, 5 is greater than or equal to P, which is greater than 0. Um, you can also write this as 0 is less than P, which is less than or equal to five um, usually okay usually not always usually the less than sign is the sign that is used most of that time okay and letter e zero is 
less than or equal to Q, which is less than or equal to 3, or 3 is greater than or equal to Q, which is greater than or equal to 0. And letter F should be minus 1 is greater than R, which is greater than or equal to negative 4. Next one, number three. One, two, four, six. Okay, just note when you draw your number line, make sure your, the intervals are exactly the same, not like mine. Some of mine are smaller than the others. Okay, letter A. Anyone for A? Miriam, B? Patrick, C? Rita, D? Lester, E? Raylin, and F, Kyle. Who's B? Who's doing B? Did I give anybody to do B? Did I tell anyone to do B? B. A, B, go, go and do B. Let us see. Who's the next person I called after Patrick? Raylene. Huh? Maybe I missed it. Huh? Rita, what number are you doing? D. And you also do. Raylene. E. Kyle. Huh? Or Lester. You, letter E. Or D. Rita says she's letter D. That means you're letter C.
eres tú. is greater than P, which is greater than 1.5. Six to two, two point four to three point six. Okay. You're too much feeling nervous. What are you feeling nervous for? He's always nervous. Two point six between one point five and two point six, two point seven. Okay, then we'll just look at the answers quickly. Number or letter A. Where is letter A? A here. Minus one is less than or equal to X, which is less than 3.5. Letter B, minus 4.5 is less than Y, which is less than or equal to 0.67 or two thirds. C, here. Minus 2.5 is less than Z, which is less than 3.1. OK. D, 4.5 is greater than P, which is greater than 1.5, between 1.5 and 4.5. E, between 2.4 and 3.6. And then F, between 1.5 and 2 and 2 thirds, including 2 and 2 thirds. OK, just check that you've got those correct. And then we'll go on from there. OK, the test that you are going to do includes everything up to inequalities. OK, we'll just look at a summary on what we've done so far on basic numeracy. Um, the first thing that we looked at, we start from Daniel Were, who's very relaxed. OK, what is the very first thing we looked at when we started the topic on uh, numeracy? Pastor Mike. Types of numbers. Very good. We looked at types of numbers. 
Natasha, give me a type of a number and tell me what its definition is. Real number. Real numbers, what, is, what are real numbers? A number which can be expressed as a proper fraction. Real number? A number that can be put on a number line. Okay, a number that can be put on a number line. And uh, real numbers actually include two types of numbers. Okay, note a real number is a number that can be put on a number line. There are two types of numbers that can be put on a number line. What are they, Megan? Rational and irrational numbers. Good. Rational and irrational numbers. Okay, so all numbers actually come under these two. They are either rational or irrational numbers. Siegfried, tell me, what is the name we give to the counting numbers? Natural numbers. So natural numbers are counting numbers. Garonamo, what are positive or whole numbers called? Integers. Integers. Integers are whole numbers only including negative and positive numbers. Okay, what's the definition of a rational number? What's the definition of a rational number? Andrew? Any number that can be expressed in a form of a fraction. Okay. Any number that can be expressed in the form A over B. When you change that number to a decimal fraction, what happens, Agnes? When you change this A over B, a fraction to a decimal fraction, what happens? It does not terminate or recurse. It terminates and it recurs. What about any rational number? Raylene, what is the definition of an irrational number? A number that cannot be expressed as a fraction or ratio. And when it is put as a decimal, what happens? It cannot recur or terminate. Terminate. It does not recur and it does not terminate. OK, that's the very first thing we did on uh, numeracy. And basically, the whole topic is based on numbers, Okay, the types of numbers and adding and subtracting those numbers. We looked at, um, after, that, after looking at either adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers, we then looked at sets. And you should all know how to simplify sets. Then we looked at um, recurring I think before that we looked at recurring decimal and how you can change a recurring decimal to a fraction. Okay, make sure you know all those things. Then after that we looked at indices and there are certain laws of indices that we looked at. Make sure you know all the laws to be able to do the test correctly. And then after indices we looked at approximation and estimation, three main ways. Uh, whole numbers, significant figures, and decimal places. And then finally, we looked at, or we just completed, inequalities. OK, make sure you revise well for the test. The keyword to the pilot teacher is number line. All right, I'll have to let you go to your next lesson.
Good afternoon, class. Thank you. You can go for your next lesson.